It is regarded as a demon-imposed affliction. Therefore, people who suffer from it cannot be completely cured. In Ghana, over 370,000 people have it, with 85% of them not receiving treatment. Grace Hamwasari tells the story of how Francis Kalabi has defied the odds to live with epilepsy for 40 years. Francisca is 47 years old. She discovered she had epilepsy when she was seven. What started as a mere break in her sleep was gradually taking over her life. Epilepsy is a neurological disorder marked by sudden recurrent episodes of unprovoked seizures. A seizure occurs when there's a sudden uh, surge or increase in electrical activity within the brain. Okay, and um, because of this, um, there's a translation into either uh, movements in the, the person's body, either they become very stiff or they start to jerk. It is a disease that makes its career lonely in society. So these my friends, like the boyfriends, <laughs> if I see their mood that they have changed, then I will question myself that hey, they have seen a hey, baby is because of this thing. That's why he is doing that. So I will quit first. Epilepsy is mentioned seven times in the Bible. In fact, at a point, Jesus delivered a boy from the demons of epilepsy. Could that be the reason people attribute it to a demonic attack? Prophet Michael Kwame Yeboa explains. He advocates care and affection. I mean, pay any penny you more. We in your chariot, we in your way, we in your. Thomas Slabi is Francisca's husband. They have been married for 13 years with two beautiful girls. Thomas is worried about the cost involved in treating the disease. One of the national health at that time was not really able to control her seizures. So we have to go and buy and it was very tough. It was one of the biggest challenge, uh, challenges I had at that time, buying her medication and it was, it, was, it was tough. Her daughters, nine and six, are also worried. Interestingly, they also know how to manage their mother's condition. Some months ago, then I was taking them to school. Then it happened on the way. So they helped me. And what the elderly one said was, Mommy, it's okay. We can go, go, go back home. We can go, you go, we can go. And then I came back. Thomas has devised other means to manage her wife's condition. We're having sex and it happened. I deal with it the way it has to be dealt with. You know, normally when you're in the mood and something that puts fear in you, that's something that scares you, you are expecting that ideally you are going to lose erection and all that. And also, not for my side. When it happened, I, I just keep, I keep firing. And that was the shortest of all that we have ever experienced till today. In Ghana, over 370,000 people live with epilepsy, with 85% of them not receiving treatment. There are over 21 drugs globally for the treatment of epilepsy, but only four are readily available in Ghana. Dr. Patrick A.J. wants government to register more drugs on the National Health Insurance Scheme. If there are over 21 drugs and there are only four or so on it, four or so available to the Ghanaians, then it means whoever is prescribing the drug is limited as to the options available. So if you have a reaction to one of these drugs, it means I'm, I only have opportunity to change you to change three others. But if I have the opportunity to change all the 21, then it means I can effectively, effectively treat a lot more people. The Epilepsy Foundation is worried about the low level of awareness and education among the public. For Francisca's husband, the reality of stigma among the public is worrying. We want epilepsy to be detached from mental health. Okay, and then we need we need more support. Francisca is hopeful one day she will receive her total healing from God.
She's been living with it for the past 40 years and she has defied all the odds to be able to live up to her dreams and become who she wants to become. Grace Hamwa Sari, TV3 News, Latibi Okoshi, Accra.